Hello, my friends. Uh, we are talking about gospel letter. So today's topic is uh, now you have been uh, saved. Then, what change you have? What change you have? Bible say, First Corinthians two ten, God has revealed it to us by His Spirit. The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. The man without spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, and he cannot understand them because they are spiritually discerned. So what changed? First, let's see the wrong view, wrong views of salvation. Wrong views. Number one, religion. Uh, many people still have a, a religion gives you uh, salvation. That is wrong. Why? A religion is made by men. Uh, religion and good deeds. You know, good deeds. You do good things, but through the doing good, you cannot have salvation. Bible say, our righteousness, good deeds, is like a filthy wreck. It's nothing. No man is righteous, not even one, Bible say. Number two, uh, attending to the church. This is not religion. Uh, this is not salvation. You, know? you can go to church and uh, register your name to the church register. That doesn't uh, give you the salvation. You know? It's only uh, if you follow this will bring you more trouble attending to the church but you don't uh, accept the Christ personally then you will have more problem number three diligence What does this mean? You are doing something diligently, religious activities, diligently. That has nothing to do with the salvation. Look at this, Pharisees. They were keeping the law in a very diligent way. But salvation has nothing to do with them. Buddhist, you know, Buddhist. In Korea, there are many uh, Buddhist people. They go to the temple, you know. In many cases, the temples are in the high, high mountain. They uh, climb the mountain and then pray to Buddha statue. They are very diligent. But it has nothing to do with the salvation. Number four, conviction. Has nothing to do with the salvation. It's uh, like a self-belief. 
self-belief, conviction, has nothing to do with the salvation. Memorizing, scripture, nothing to do with salvation, reciting scripture, following the uh, praying, religious chanting, these are only bring you the external change, but not internal change. Then, what is the state of being saved? State of being saved. What is that? Number one, you have inner change. Inner change means spiritual change. Salvation means Holy Spirit dwells in you. Holy Spirit dwells in you. Holy Spirit is not material. Holy Spirit is God's Spirit. Holy Spirit is person. Holy Spirit is the spirit of Jesus. So Holy Spirit dwells in you. Romans 8.2. What is that? The law of spirit of life set me free from the law of sin and death. Only through Christ Jesus the law of spirit of life set me free from the law of sin and death. Also, John, Jesus said to Nicodemus, unless you are born again by the water and spirit, you are not born again. Water and spirit. You cannot enter the kingdom of God. Holy Spirit is a spirit of truth. It will not leave you nor be cast out from you. Holy Spirit will be with you, in you, Always, forever. Indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Romans. Eight, two, four, nine. Says, Holy Spirit meets the requirement of salvation and fulfills the law. So it is not you who fulfills the law. Holy Spirit is in you, and through the Holy Spirit, by the Holy Spirit, you are able to uh, fulfill the law. Number two. Now you come to know God's will. Blessing. And grace. Look at this. First Corinthian. 2, 10, 2, 14. 
Now you come to know God's will, blessing, and grace. Uh, now you are temple of God. Don't you know that you yourself are temple of God and God's spirit lives in you? 1 Corinthians 3.16 And Holy Spirit fixes all things which is incorrect. Galatians 5, 16, 18. Holy Spirit will fix all incorrect things in you. Holy Spirit guides you. John. You can follow the guidance of the Holy Spirit. He gives you peace, real peace. Answer, prayer answer. You can have prayer answer. And Holy Spirit work out all things for the good. God will make all things beautiful in you. In his time, by his method. This is the your change. Now you are saved. Then what change now you are having in you? The key point here is Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is Spirit of Father God and Spirit of Jesus. Holy Spirit is in you. Holy Spirit guide you. Holy Spirit will never depart from you. And Holy Spirit even will correct all which is incorrect things in you. And he will be making you a perfect God's child. This is on process. So don't worry. You are not, you will not be deserted by, by God. Holy Spirit will guide you, will help you to overcome all the difficulties. Don't worry. He will never go away from you. This is the state of your salvation. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this message. We come to know that we are saved and we have a tremendous change because we have Holy Spirit in us. And we believe the Holy Spirit will never ever depart from us, always guide us and correct us, always lead us to the prayer answer. Thank you, Lord, for this message. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen.